Hi folks, Professor Amachi here. Wanted to introduce you to the Metasploit lab using the new Kali Linux 2020 version. Okay, ready? Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna notice with the new Kali here is that it's no longer uh, root and root backwards. I think it's Kali and Kali. That's going to be your new login. <clears throat> now to get the IP address, it's no longer if config. I think if config has been deprecated. <clears throat> it's going to be IP address show. It's going to be that now. IP address show gives you, hey, look, we have the internal network right here, 192, 168, 159. So this one's 137. And we're using the host only network, the internal VLAN to the machine. Yeah. And likewise, we should have 159, 136 here, but let's trust but verify. Yep, 159.136. Hopefully, we should be able to ping 137. And looks like we're good. Pretty sure we have the firewall turned off on this Windows machine. And looks like we do. So that was it. We find our two host addresses right here. Now, you notice here that we are not in privileged, uh, elevated privileges here, or, or the equivalent Cisco uh, uh, privilege exec. So you notice that we're here just like a regular user. On the Kali box, we're the Kali user. What we're going to have to do is run everything from elevated privileges. Okay, elevated privileges. We'll do sudo su. Okay, passwords Kali, and we know we are in the elevated privileges by this prompt right here. All right, let's craft our clickbait. It's Windows. Okay, our L host is going to be this IP right here. Okay, it's one thirty seven. Okay, we're going to make the format there in executable. And we are going to pipe this out to this here. Clickbait2.exe. You can name it whatever you want. Okay. And you give it a minute. Okay, cool. Yes, we have a crafted payload now. Now it's important to start the HTTP service like this. Okay, web services started. And let's just see, let's just see if we can hit that. One fifty nine, one thirty seven. Yep. So that's the that's the page right there. Let's launch MSF console.
Okay, cool. So now we have our console loaded. We can use multi handler. Set our payload. It's going to be Windows. And we'll set it for reverse TCP. Set our L host to local there. And we'll type exploit and wait. So over on this side, over on our vulnerable host, Okay, we should have that file in there. And look, hey, here's the uh, file. Let's just go ahead and run it, just as a simulator saying, hey, cool, let's click on that fun looking program. But from a user perspective here, it looks like, hey, it didn't do anything. But if we come out over here, yes, indeed. This connection is open. We folks, we own this machine now. Right to 136 here. So now we can have some fun. Of course, uh, make sure you're in the right window here. Type help. This gives you all the commands that you could choose from. Isn't that cool? You can even start doing things like this screenshot. So screenshot right there, it's saved to there. So it's saved under home Cali, right? So okay, under Cali there. Hey, look, here's the file. If we were to launch it, it should be the screenshot of exactly what's here. Hey, isn't that neat? <laughs> Folks, we can also do this. We can do this command here. Look, record mic, webcam chat, webcam list, webcam snap, webcam stream. So you can try that on your own. We can set the desktop to whatever we want, but look at this too. We can do key scan start. Key scan start. So that starts a keystroke sniffer. So look, if we were to do something like this, or something super private. Okay, and let's say something super private. Yeah, it looks like the user had second thoughts there, right? But if we come up to here and we do key scan dump, check this out. We have all of the keystrokes that were logged. Example, someone typing in their bank account info or something super private and then all of these backspaces, right? So not so private. Okay, if we do netstat from here now, okay, now we see, now we see uh, everything that's open right now.
Isn't that neat? Now, if we were to do something here called get UID, we see that the logged in username is logged in with the local administrator account. Right. Let's try get get system. Right, got system via technique one, name pipe and person impersonation, and get UID. Hey, isn't that awesome? Now we can run hash dump and we can find out the hash dump here of the password and the user here. So from this point, yeah, we can do brute force attack, try to guess the password here. But what if we were to just look at the memory register? So let's load Mimi Cats and then do Kerberos. Hey folks, check this out. Here's the user right here administrator and the password is right out in the clear. Right? Isn't that faster than trying to brute force something? Folks, do you remember that game Minesweeper? I was never good at it. I always kept getting blown up. But what if, what if there's a way to win at Minesweeper? What if there is a way? So we just execute win mine here, and then from our Kali box, we're going to run this. Mimi cats command. And folks, right here, hey, you see, this is the location of all the mines here. <laughs> so first row, one, two, three, four, looks to be okay. One, two, three, four looks okay. Uh, this one's a mine. One, two, three, four, five. So let's not click there. Okay, let's click the square right here. This looks okay. Then we got two mines right there. Okay, second row. The rest of these are okay. Okay, this third row, last one's a mine. Okay, so we'll stay away from that. Uh, fourth row, it looks like everything's clear there. Okay, one, two, there's a mine right there, so we'll stay away from that. Okay, one, two, three. There's a mine right there, so these two squares are going to be all right. Okay, that row there. Okay, let's just clear the uh, the second to the last. Okay, clear this one. Clear that one, and winner, winner. 77 seconds. All right. Hey, folks, so I hope you enjoyed this demo. And uh, this is how to work with Metasploit, Mimi Cats, and how to win at Minesweaver. Okay, have fun.